Let's talk about tough love for immigrants. Hi, I'm Jim Hacking, immigration lawyer practicing law throughout the United States out of our offices in St. Louis, San Diego, and Washington, DC. You know we've been doing these videos for a really long time. Luckily, we have our friend Justin here who's making them better and better every single day. The video quality's gone up, the content's gone up, the views have gone up, the subscribers have gone up, all that stuff is well and fine. But here's the thing. I've been thinking about changing the tone a little bit. The tone? What are you talking about, Jim? Well, what I'm talking about is I feel like I've been perhaps a little too easy on people who do dumb things. And when I talk about dumb things, I talk about people that like come on my show and say, I've applied for a national interest waiver. And I ask them, what work are you doing in the national interest? Dead eyes. No clue. No idea what I'm talking about. When I talk about people making mistakes, I talk about people who file applications and don't really understand what they're applying for, or that the, the mistakes that they're making are severe. And over the course of the last 1,300 videos, I've taken a pretty soft response. I've, I, haven't, I haven't gone off on those people, and I don't intend to go off on those people. But I am going to start clarifying when I think people are clueless and not doing what they're supposed to do. Now, I want everyone to succeed. I want every immigrant who goes through the immigration process to succeed, whether I am their attorney or not, whether they hire my firm or not. The reason I make these videos, the reason we put all this free content out there is to empower immigrants to make a smart decision and to file the strongest case possible. That is all that I care about. I tell my clients all the time, yes, you are my client. But my real client is getting the case approved because that's what I care about. What I care about is you winning. And the vast majority of people who watch my videos, who read our emails, who join our Facebook group, they're not going to hire us. They're not going to hire us. And I am totally 100% okay with that. That's, that's great because I want to lead with value. I want to educate immigrants and those who love immigrants about the immigration process. But I simply can't stand by anymore holding people's hands. I've decided that I'm going to be sort of a tough coach. A tough coach. Like, you know, there's some coaches, and I've, I've been a coach. I coach my boys in, in baseball. And my wife came to me when the boys were in eighth grade, and she said, Jimmy, you're too nice to these players. You've got to be a little bit tougher on them. Now, she was a world-class runner. She ran all through high school. She represented her high school at the state of Illinois, track championships. She knows tough coaches. And she, I think people in the office would say, she's a tough coach. Not my strong suit. I want people to like me. I like to get along with people. I want to make people happy. But I'm beginning to think that I'm doing people a disservice by not being honest with them when they do dumb things. So maybe we need a new a new domain name called Honest When You Do Dumb Things. Now, we're not going to do that, but the point is that I think that when it comes to marketing, when it comes to the Immigration Answers Show, when it comes to our Facebook group, if I spot something where somebody's doing something silly or putting themselves in danger or screwing up their immigration case, I'm going to tell them that. I'll try to do it in a nice way. Now, some of the people's favorite things that happen on the Immigration Answers Live show is when I lose my temper and get mad at people and I start to rub my temples and I take off my glasses and then I sort of go off on people. I've been trying not to do that. And I try to listen. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to listen to the person. I'm going to let them tell their tale of woe. And then I'll, I'll sort of outline for them what the mistake was. And then I'll let them off camera. And then once they're off camera, I'm going to explain to everybody about how silly this is and how stupid this is and how dumb this is. But at the end of the day, a lot of that's going to come down to the fact that they didn't hire an attorney. At the end of the day, it's going to be because they don't know what they don't know. And that's the thing about the immigration process. I'm trying to educate you and tell you the things that I used to not know, that I now know, that I used to be in the dark about, that I've brought out into the light. That's my job. That's sort of my mission, is to educate as many people as I can to help them through this immigration process. But part of that involves being a tough coach. Part of that involves telling people when what they're doing is foolhardy or silly or dumb. So pay attention to our upcoming marketing. We've talked about doing a 
hellish story of the week or big mess up of the week. Um, I thought that I could actually do one for a whole month every day. Dumb story of the day for a month, but that's why we have a marketing team. That's why we have people like Justin and Maho and Susie and G and Umra making sure that I don't go off the rails and I don't do silly stuff and that I don't get too negative because we don't want this just to become a gym bitch session. We want to be empowering. We want to be hopeful. We want to be positive. But we've got to be realistic and we've got to speak the truth. And that's what we do. We speak the truth for you. We speak the truth to you. We speak the truth to power. And we are going to let the chips fall where they may. Hope this makes sense. Hope it doesn't sound like a crazy gym rant. And if you're thinking about hiring an immigration attorney, I hope this gave you some insight into how we operate here at Hacking Immigration Law. If you want to hire us to handle your immigration case, give us a call, 314-961-8200. Email us, info at hackingimmigrationlaw.com. We would also love, if you're just looking for advice, for you to join us in our Facebook group. There's an Immigrant Home Facebook group that you can find. There's people trading information every single day. They're talking about the videos we make. They're talking about the immigration process. It's a great little group. And then, of course, we have this YouTube channel with all of our videos where we have tackled just about every immigration topic that you can think of. And for those that we haven't, we have our Immigration Answer Show, which we drop three or four times a week, where I answer as many immigration law-related questions as possible in just under 60 minutes. Hope you all are well. Peace out. See you next time.